Hello everyone. Um, today's topic is going to talk about uh, how to create your first web application or website account. If you go into your platform management, you will see there's a generic web app platform. Today we're going to using it to create your first web application or website account. Duplicate the platform and then modify it. On the UI and the workflows, right click, you need add PSM. That gonna allows you to select correct connect button. You can try to add account. Website. I was using a WordPress login form as an example. So username and using address, copy the login window page URL, remove HTTPS, just leave the URL, password, you have to specify the password. Again, password. Add in. You will not see connect button because we didn't add a connection component. Go to configuration options, options. There are lots of connection components by default has been added into the PSM. Um, we're gonna copy and the paste one and then I modify to it the web app sample we have to change the name I'm gonna change the name to it fun sack form Okay. Go back to your account. The connect button is grayed out. Let's configure our platform again. Add a connection component. UI and the workflows, add a connection component, add it again under the connection components. Then you can put the all connection component here. Double check again. Perfect. Now connect button is on. Let's give it a try. It won't work since the connection component hasn't been really configured well 
based on our web application website. So, but that will be a good try to see what the error message you will get. So basically, the PSM 51 stack web form doesn't contain a target setting definition in policy. So in platform, basically. So let's go back. Configuration options. Options. We have to customize our target settings in the PSM 51 sec web form. So there's a couple of settings I want to mention here. You can see there's a component the parameters. User parameters, target settings. Web form settings. That's the main place you need to put in here, web form settings. So you see they put the username into the ID UN or username put in the username ID, password, width and height. We're gonna find out those username ID, password ID, and also button to submit the form in here. Yes, there must be a user ID for this text box to enter your username or email address. There's another user, another ID to associate with password, password text box, or, or another third ID to associate with this button. Let's go back to account. So let's go to the page, press F12 to open development tools for a page in the Chrome. Um, so there's a lot of uh, DIV. We're gonna go to login. You can see when we point our mouse to the login form, so let's highlight these whole forms. All settings will be here. First, ID we found is a user, user underscore login. User underscore login. Second one here, come down, come down user pass. See the ID equal user pass. And we need to find a third one, the submit button. Not this button. Not this, it's this. You can see when you move your mouse to this code, they will highlight the section, the, the button sections. So you can see the name became WP dash submit ID is WP wp dash submit based on those information i come with the settings as like here that's the settings we got from our web page here and uh, basically username gonna be Filled in to username ID, password can filled in user pass ID, button gonna fill in WP submit ID. Okay. As you can see, our client app is using Chrome right now. Here is client specific settings. There's one settings you want to change. You don't want to run into validation. I will suggest sometimes just close this to make your life easier. Apply. There's a web, web form settings. No, okay.
gonna restart PSM. Come back to page, go to our account. Connect. Okay, it's connecting. In the background, this uh, browser has been launched and then it's trying to launch the page. Well, they logged in. As you can see, you can log out again. Page is here and closed and try it again. So then we logged out from PSM server. You can try it again. Just want to show you the whole process again to make sure. So you see the login page and they will automatically log you in. It's perfect, perfect. Close the window. That's it. That's my tutorial for our first website login. Thank you for watching.